Sid, how much will La Liga suffer without Lionel Messi in it? Enormously. Uh, there's no two ways about that. Now, obviously, La Liga, in a way, if you look at the way that they've constructed their their, their marketing in recent years, if you look at the way that they, they fought very hard, for example, to, to ensure a collective TV deal, um, I, they've been trying very hard to, to prepare an identity for themselves, if you like, that doesn't hang on Real Madrid and Barcelona. So in a way, they've been preparing for the moment when Cristiano Ronaldo leaves, which of course he did a couple of seasons ago, and when Messi leaves. That's not to say they're ready for it. And I also think it's worth making a, a, a point here, which is there's a big difference, um, both from Barcelona's point of view and also from the point of view of La Liga, to lose Lionel Messi because he retires. To lose him at the end of his career and say, well, look, this was the arguably the greatest player of all time who saw out his entire career at Barcelona, saw out his entire career at La Liga. But this is different because this is you losing him to a competitor of Barcelona, who are also coached by your former coach, and to a competitor of La Liga. And I think in that sense, it does La Liga enormous damage. Now, we don't know, um, we, or at least more to the point, we can't calculate or judge just yet the economic impact of it. But in terms of, if you like, the identity, the self-esteem, the, the significance of La Liga, it's huge. That said... You know, we, you, you do have to look at this um, in, in historical terms and say these are uh, a huge club. Uh, Barcelona is an, is an absolutely huge club. Obviously, Real Madrid is still a huge club. There are other good teams in Europe. Sevilla, Euro, Europa League champions again for a sixth year. So, so La Liga will be will be optimistic they can find a way through this. But this is problematic. And there's one other reason that it's problematic. And let's look away from Messi for a moment. The fact that a player as good as Rodrigo leaves a club as big as Valencia to go with all my the greatest respect to, to a club like Leeds, also tells you that there is a problem for La Liga. The financial muscle that La Liga has at the moment simply can't compete with the Premier League. OK, uh, let me just bring a point, and it's, go back to a point that, that Sid made earlier about unless Messi changes his mind, you know, something's going to have to, to happen. And people, I think, will be watching this and think, well, what do you mean by that? What said mean? And, and you know, why don't Barcelona just say no, no? We're digging our heels in. You're going nowhere. What? What? I think some people might understand, but some might not. Is an unhappy an unhappy player is a useless player, even one of Lionel Messi's ability. And Barcelona know this now. You know, Barcelona could dig their heels in and say no, nobody's going on anywhere just to, just for the sake of it and 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 keep the guy. But they know. They know they are not going to get anywhere near the return on the field like they've had. So, as Sid said, it really is in, in, in Messi's hands because unless he changes his mind uh, and everything gets fixed and, and resolved, and that seems unlikely, Barcelona have got a really unhappy player. And really unhappy players don't score 50 goals a year. They don't excite the fans every time they pull the strip on because of that very reason. And so... You know, for people that might not understand why he's holding the cards and Barcelona are not really holding the cards here, I think that's a, a, a good point to make. Yeah, definitely. And Shaka, PSG are yeah, also there's some said other to... Factors. So go on, go on, Sid. Sorry, sorry, Kay. Yeah, I was just going to just add in some factors to, 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 if you like, reinforce what Craig's saying. And, and here are some other factors for you. One is that this is Leo Messi. This is the best player in Barcelona's entire history. The last thing that they want is for his legacy to be even more sullied by this, for the departure, if and when it happens, to be to be even more nasty. So then there needs to be, I think, for everybody's sake, some, even if it's a facade, some degree of amicability about it. And remember the other factor. Messi was walking away because of a clause in his contract that allows him to do so. Well, that contract only has one more year to run. So what did Barcelona do? Force him to stay for a year, and then in a year's time, he goes anyway in, in, in much more difficult circumstances. And there's another element to this, which is really important, and it's economic. And deep down, given the choice between, as Craig says, an unhappy and probably underperforming, or certainly underperforming, probably not performing at all player, or the chance to save themselves uh, close to 100 million euros on salary in the next year, and who knows, maybe get a transfer fee or some players in return for it. From Barcelona's point of view, in terms of the mechanics of it, now obviously emotionally now this is broken, it's gone, it's ruined. But in terms of the mechanics of it and trying to build and trying to rescue themselves, then in a way there's a, there's a certain degree of attraction for Barcelona, having reached this point, 
to now try and do some sort of deal with, with Manchester City, or indeed, I mean, we're talking about Manchester City. Let's not forget that there are other clubs interested, but I think City are, without doubt, the front runners. Yeah, you mentioned other clubs interested. Shaka, PSG said to be one of them. There is a report that Neymar has been on the phone to his friend Messi. We know one of the reasons that Messi was so upset at Barcelona is because that move back for Neymar didn't happen. Could you see him maybe going into a club like PSG? Listen, if money wasn't a factor, absolutely, yes. You, how, how good would Messi be in, in that front three that would include uh, Neymar and, and Mbappe? But of course, there's financial fair play that PSG, even PSG, have, have to consider. Both Neymar and, and, and Mbappe are, are still on, on, on contracts. They've got another couple of years to run. The understanding was that PSG were preparing to sit down with them to discuss extension to, 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 to those contracts and just give them the salary that Lionel Messi inevitably will be commanding, how do they make those numbers stack up? Albeit they've um, sold a few players at this transfer window. But I, I just don't see how, it, how they make it all work unless they offload one of, of, of Neymar and, and Mbappe. Now, I don't know the figures myself, but that seems to be the most likely scenario, which leaves all kind of twists and turns to this, including who takes one of those two on, at what transfer fee, at what salary, um, that, that just adds a, another layer of difficulty to, to them bringing in somebody like Lionel Messi. I, I, think, I think the other thing is well, Kay, to, to, to remember here, I'm not, I'm not by any way uh, downgrading the French League because we've just seen some French teams do great in the Champions League. But there is a kudos to winning the Premier League and there is a challenge to winning the Premier League and we know the domination of PSG uh, in France. And, and there has to be an element of, of, of that in it as well for, for Lionel Messi. He's had both European and domestic success big time at Barcelona. Manchester City are striving for the Champions League. But they're also striving to, to, to topple Liverpool from the top of that league as well. And Messi has seen this firsthand. He'll have seen what Liverpool have done this season. He saw it firsthand last year when Liverpool dismantled his Barcelona team in that second leg. So it's not just the coaching staff in Guardiola, the Champions League the money. There's a big kudos to try and topple Liverpool from the top of that perch again. And I think all these factors will play into it in that decision. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.